One of the most important ideas in math is a function, and there are several different ways to describe it. You can think of a function as being a set, the domain, one, two, three, four, a range, another set, A, B, C in this example, and they often just say a mapping from the first set to the second, from the domain to the range. The rule is that you can only have one output per input. So we can think of a function as a machine, it takes an input, gives an output, but only one. You can also view it as a graph. Now a function like y equals x squared, I could draw a parabola. Something discrete like this, I simply draw the four dots, well, the one, two, three, four, and a, b, c axes. Now, if the domain's one, two, three, four, and the range a, b, c, then domain Cartesian product with the range is these 12 ordered pairs. A function can also be described as a subset of d cross r, specifically 1a, 2b, 3c, 4c. That part of d cross r is a function. And the way I've written it, essentially you could get any function by picking one item from each row. Those are all different ways to describe a function. I encountered a new one, which I thought was cool, and you can view the function as a partition of the domain. One maps to A, two maps to B, three and four map to C. Now this is a partition because a function cannot map one input to two outputs. So these sets can't ever overlap without being identical. So in fact, any function means you have a partition on the domain, in addition to the information about what each part of the partition maps to.